Hi guys, so today we're going to start our um, series in Christmas ornaments. Um, I hope you like them. They're just little simple things that you can do every year. For me, instead of doing um, tags on Christmas presents, I put these, um, these little ornaments on my presents with the little to and from on them and then um, the little ones when they get to be um, old enough they have a little set of their own ornaments that they can put on their tree and um, remind them of us every year so here you go hope you guys enjoy Okay, we're going to get started by making our um, our hat and our nose for our melted snowman ornament. Um, we need a little piece of polymer clay. It's about um, it's about the size of a very large pea. And we're going to just, of course you all know that with the polymer you have to really work it and get it soft. Make sure you use the, um, do the orange first because, or wear gloves, because if you do the black first then you'll get it on, you'll transfer the color to your, um, your fingers. So we're going to just do this. This kind of got, was sitting for a few minutes while I was getting everything ready, so just work that because it's a little dry. So we want to form this in a um, we want to form this in a cone a cone shape. So and if you wanted to um, give it even more of an effect, you could like in the after you need to poke a hole, put a little hole in the end, and then after you. Um, you bake it, then you can put a little, a uh, couple little pieces of uh, green embroidery floss in here if you wanted to give it that effect. But uh, but you know carrots have the little um, the little lines on it, so we're just going to take a um, a straight pen and we're going to just make our little lines, and that is our carrot for our nose. Now we're going to make, I don't want to put this down so I don't get the black on my, um, my black paper. Now we're going to make the hat. And we need a piece that is, I would say that's probably about the size of a, maybe a, a peanut M&M. And we're going to, I'm just going to work this for just a second. Let's see how that would come off on your fingers if, and get that on your orange. So we want a piece that size. We're going to take a... It's not going to exactly be in half. We want a larger piece and a smaller piece. Okay? And with the smaller piece, set that to the side. With the smaller piece, we're going to just make a circle to start out with. And then we're going to flatten this out. That is the brim, and now we're going to make the top hat part, and this, let's go, something way down. Um, so this, this is going to be, we're going to make this into a, a cylinder. put that on top of that. Just turn your little sides up. Just turn your little sides up and maybe, you know, angle it down. And that is our our little top hat. So I have um, some that are finished. Now when you're doing the top hat, you want to make sure that it is small enough to fit in to your your ornament 
opening okay now if you're going to use the kind that split in the, the plastic this is the glass kind if you're going to use the kind that's split then you don't have to be as concerned about it I for this particular project I feel like you can get it small enough and it still has a really nice shape to it that you can do it and I like the look of the glass better so okay got our nose and our hat our hat and our nose we need a piece of this is red um, what is this felt sorry <laughs> this is felt okay that I just cut a long strip it's actually a piece of scrap you can see it's got a little cut in the side of it it's just a little piece of scrap okay so now we need our um, our eyes and our buttons now I I got these um, these are little um, these are little buttons that I got at um, Michael's in um, they have it's a wall and I'm not exactly sure I think it might be scrapbooking but it's it's in like where the um, the flowers and in my Michaels it's over where like the flowers and um, the candle making and that kind of thing is and it's a whole wall of different types of embellishments that are actually buttons but I don't know I don't know what they're technically supposed to be used for or is there anything technically in crafting anyway so we use what we want for what we want right so anyway so these are little buttons that I found over there okay so now we're gonna we need eyes these are um, these are two just two black beads that you can use and this is what I'm using is these are beads also and they're glass but they've kind of got an irregular shape to them and I kind of like they kind of make them different than the button so that's what we're going to use okay and we also need our snow and our snow is going to be um, Epsom salt um, I have seen this done with Diamond Tech, I believe is what it's called, but it's a little on the expensive side, and um, if you're going to do a few of these, then you might want to change to this. You can use the Diamond Tech, or you can use, well, you can use whatever you want, but this came from the dollar store. This is the small box that comes at the dollar store for a dollar. Um, you can get the bigger packages at places like Walmart. Um, and, but if you can't find them in the health department, then look in the gardening department, especially this time of year, because they are um, popular um, uh, in the garden in gardening right now. So, okay. And then we need our and we need our little Christmas ball. Okay. So we are going to put our Epsom salt in our. got the rest of that on the table instead. Okay, so we have our Epsom salts. We're going to put our, let's see, we're going to put our, we're going to put our hat in. We're going to put our nose in. We're going to put our buttons in we're going to put our scarf in and we're going to put our eyes in and then we're going to take our little top snap that back into place and there you have our little Poor melted frosty the snowman um I think this is a really cute super cute little ornament relatively inexpensive I think that total you probably have maybe a dollar 
depending on if you can get the the bulbs um, on sale and if you use a coupon you probably have about maybe a dollar dollar and a half tops into this and I think it's a really cute little idea for um, teachers or anyone that you want to just give a little something to for for Christmas there you have it there's my melted snowman I hope you enjoyed So the first ornament that we're going to do is going to be the little melted snowman ornament. I think it is really cute. I think it is would be a really cool little ornament to do for um, for teachers or anybody that you just want a little ornament, a little something to give um, for Christmas. And there you go. So just a little something to do for. Christmas for someone, or if you want to give them away. I mean, who wouldn't just, I think they're just adorable. Sorry. There you go. There you go. Alright. Thanks, guys.